everybody knows that I say a daily verse every day on my Facebook, and then I give a accounting of some of history, along with the day of the martyrs, which is basically um, the, those who died and the day that their that uh, their actions are represented by a feast and celebrated within that particular church or across the board with multiple different religions with their churches. Well, this morning I just discovered that the day of Job's feast is actually on my birthday originally. After I had decided that I was going to talk today about um, one of my godchildren, Mandrea Hodges, and how she had accused Andrew Berry of raping her. I was there when her mother found out, and she went after Andrew with a knife. Well, later on, on the day that Vernell and Luana, Luana, is that how you say her name? Vernell Robison, he's Lucille Robison's son, and also um, the sibling to Chanel Robison and Wanda Robison. Well, the day of their wedding, I objected because Luana was still sleeping with Chris Archer when Vernell and her were supposed to be getting married. And I didn't think it was very appropriate for somebody who's sleeping around to marry my cousin, which Vernell is my cousin, according to the, the documentation and the um, all the paperwork. It's not by blood. It's adoption. However, he was still my cousin and I cared about him and I didn't want to see him committing to somebody who wasn't committed to him. Well, that night, uh, me and Andrew left because he agreed with me um, with regards to Vernell. We objected. We offered for Vernell to get into my truck and leave with us. I've never had any kind of relationship other than Vernell's my cousin. And so it would be inappropriate for anybody to even try to go there with regards to Vernell because me and him are just friends. It would never be anything else that way. So I, you know, I, I when Luana started attacking me with behind my back, I had no understanding as to why. But after reflecting on the situation, you know, the night that they got married, Andrew got drunk and confessed that he raped Mookie, Mandrea Hodges, one of my goddaughters. At the time, the law didn't even take me seriously with any of the other stuff that I had um, brought to them with regards to victimization. So why would I think that they would take that seriously? Because I'm going to tell you that I lived in the house when they claimed that that had happened. And I didn't see or hear anything, but that doesn't mean nothing happened. So we have a situation where um, we've got one of my godchildren. I mean, I it's not for me to say what Andrew did or didn't do. I just know that he confessed to what uh, Mookie had claimed he did on the night that Vernell and Luana got married while he was drunk at my house in front of me and Frank Barry and Ronald Lee. So for anyone to sit here and try to point fingers at me, I see an awful lot of people trying to lie on me in order to get out of taking responsibility for their own actions. There's people that are holding grudges for stuff that my parents and my grandparents did and a whole lot more that I don't have anything to do with that these people are trying to punish me for using my children to do and my family's inheritance. This is disgusting and it's disturbing and it's something that we need to combat and put an end to. Because I'm not the only disabled person that the court robbed. I've got a list of other people that they've also either robbed or failed to seek justice just because of who those people are with regards to holding grudges. This is a huge problem within our system that needs to be addressed because it's causing a lot of the animosity that caused the looting and the riots last summer. And if we don't do something to combat this situation, we're just going to keep running around in circles and batting our head up against a wall for no reason other than to keep doing the bad things that are pissing people off and causing their animosity. 
So we as a country have a choice. You can either follow my lead and start exposing these people and demanding justice peacefully. Or you can do what Black Lives Matters and Antifa have been doing since the 2016 election. And that's destroying the foundation of America. These people have looted and robbed and burnt cities down. That's not my idea of justice. My idea of justice is seeing a truthful and honest justice system seek truthful and honest consequences so that we cannot just get our justice, but also in some cases seek reform for the criminals who really genuinely need it and want to reform. We have a lot of work to do within the system in order to clean things up. And a lot of it isn't even a legal problem. It's a people problem. So it's time to stand up and do something for the sake of our children, our grandchildren, and anyone else who comes after us. It's our responsibility with God's love. God bless America. Have a blessed day. And back the badge.